Greetings, greetings everyone. I'm your host to Kabo Tuwash Titibu no Singum Tam Lamp Mosin. So to go up, possess to your karma, fine of Lampisa. I went to Today I'm making this video to appreciate, to give flowers to my brother, Sandile Wanzikane Tukani. Man from Akapa, Cape Town. I met the guy on YouTube. I saw his first video he was doing about Penwell. I think he did another one about Nota. It's a very close friend of mine. I'm not doing this video video because of I'm biased, but because I wanna honor this man and I appreciate him a lot. He's doing amazing work on YouTube. Guys, you should check out his YouTube channel called Sandile Tukani, Sandile Wanzikani Tukani. I'll actually, on the title, I'll put his name there so that you can check out his videos. A young man who has a brilliant mind, so articulate. I've learned a lot from the man. I remember while meeting him online on this metaverse. Now most of us who are living in the metaverse. Thanks to companies such as WhatsApp, Facebook of Mark Zuckerberg and YouTube, which is owned by Google. That we can actually meet people on this metaverse and become our brothers and sisters. Become people who inspire us every day to do better, to learn from them, to become a good leader. You need to become a good follower. You need to, a leader is a person who realizes that he's not better than everyone else. But a person who provides direction, which will in turn help others. And then it's going to change now the circumstances for a better. Where else politicians are like parasites who actually, these people, if I may tell you, they have a monopoly on wisdom and knowledge. And actually, these people, they want to gain for them is self-enrichment. Not about people, but self-gaining. They're using now this politician, this political arena for self-enrichment. Not to lead, not to serve but to manipulate the process. Let me repeat this. Manipulate the process for it to suit them and hog wind the people whom they are leading. Deceive those people. Steal. Eat their money in the name of saving them. Shame on them. Because of this country now, it's going down, low shedding. It's affecting us. Mental health. People are losing jobs. Businesses are closing down. These people make me angry sometimes. Because of now we're suffering. And then they're not low shed, they're staying in the suburbs. Their children are having good education while us, the masses, are continuing living in this poverty, the capitalist system, which is a monster, which is looking to for profits, doesn't care about people. People rather commit genocides. All in the name of capitalism to conquer to have money i hate this concept of money 
It's enslaving us, this concept of money. We're chasing after wealth. The biggest wealth is you being in harmony with nature. Even if, if you don't have money, this fiat currency. But we're actually at peace with nature. You can be able to sleep on the floor. You can be able to go to the mountains to bath yourself in the river, to wash and do everything in nature. Just like the old people used to do. They never owned much, they never chased after much, but they lived in harmony and peace with nature. Us, we are only told about the five senses. What about the dreams? What about the intuitions? We've lost ourselves, we've lost our identity. We're looking at an external God, whereas the God is inside. You are the placebo. As Sandina said, what to carry? I've learned a lot from the dude, and it's gonna be the next big thing. Next big star. We need to protect the dude. We need to support as black people. We need to know where we come from. Makas Gavi teaches us that they are people who don't have knowledge of their past, who don't have knowledge of their history, their culture, their origin. Like a tree without roots. We need to go back, we are lost. We need to decolonize ourselves because we're living in a country which is a numerical Minority. It's a cultural majority. And in Zwanga, let me repeat. Numerical minority. It's a cultural majority. We've lost our cultures. We took this culture of the minority. Who came here with ships, with nothing, and conquered our forefathers? Now we need to devise plans to actually go back to who we are and actually find our land back. Just like Joshua Maponga, that it is a crime to have only one wife. You have to have two wives. He meant that the first wife is the land, then the second wife is your wife who's gonna take you need to make children on your land that's gonna give you a sense of pride we don't have land now chasing after the latest brands gucci versace louis vuitton we must go back and live a minimal life those things are material. Those material we are wearing, expensive ones. Who we kill people for those materials? Who we bewitch people for those materials? They will never give us value. If we think the value of me wearing a Louis Vuitton, a Gucci bag, sneaker, is going to bring me the value. No. You need to create your own value. You need to build yourself from within. Sandile Wazikani, Tukani, shout out my brother. May you grow. And we hope we do more and more content. We're also doing lives where we share knowledge. I think I've learned this that I must be willing to learn. And then learn and actually consume and curate content that's gonna stimulate my mind, help me grow, make me become a critical thinker. So, you are what you consume. If you consume garbage, sadly, your mind will be damaged. We are electromagnetic, we are electromagnetic beings who constantly vibrate with energy. 
others vibrate in lower energies others vibrate in higher energies we don't see our eyes we, with our eyes we see through our eyes the mind that's why Steve Biko teaches us about the mind he's working on the mind he used to teach us about the mind that's the most potent weapon in the hand of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed dango peace out